Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, if you guys want to see me play Foot Champs, normal FIFA video just before this one. Bully Bolly, if you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Guys, right, let me tell you something about this card, okay? Do you guys remember the beginning of the year when I actually did like the Road to Glory stuff? And uh, I was like using defenders and I'm like, this is gonna this is gonna destroy me because I'm using defenders that weren't that crazy. And then the moment that I got Varon and Koulibaly, everything in life was great, okay? So now Koulibaly has a premium version of his card that gives you premium links, right? So you can link to any team, but... He can give you some links to certain cards that they maybe could do in the future because it's from, uh, this is all Hilal, right? They, they got a few players, eh? So be mindful of that. Uh, but regardless, this could be a very good center back, guys. You know, player traits in game. He's got power header, giant throw, and in-game attributes. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. That's actually okay. And then the reactions and composure is high. Yeah, he's probably going to be really good. Let's see. Bully daddy. 155k. I don't know. I don't know what the dislikes are for. Have you guys ever used the rare gold Cooley Bali card? I mean, I guess I understand it a little bit with the acceleration, maybe. Maybe. I don't know where the dislikes would come from. Because the improvements that they do, they do for cards in the center back position couldn't care less about the skill moves. It's all about the weak foot. So the fact that he has a five star weak foot's huge. Uh, Shadow chemistry style will make him lengthy. Guys, I know that his acceleration is lower, but Koulibaly has, like, good defensive animations from before. I'm going to see nowadays, right? But he has those animations, so we're going to see if that's going to be the case still. Uh, shot power 85, I guess that works with the power header for, like, corner kicks. Uh, he does have good jumping, so if you go for those corner kicks... Look, even his physical stats is in a good area, too. He's got high aggression, pace with the lengthy, and then reactions and composure, both the most important stats for defenders, 99-99. See, even EA... Even like they they watch some stuff because even they know okay those are the two parts we have to improve the most you know what I'm saying like we're just gonna make a card feel to his base mechanics but we have to improve these two areas specifically I don't know where the dislikes are coming from this looks like a good center back to be honest with you um yeah it should be like what are, what are people saying about it oh okay I don't even know anyways let's go get the card and I'll show you guys how we line them up. Okay, oh, look at this, Varan with Koulibaly. I mean, listen, I'm pretty positive that Koulibaly ain't gonna touch Varan. I think Varan might be the best one in the game, to be honest with you. Um, oh, I have to go buy the Shadow. Okay, cool. Anyways, uh, the team, guys, we'll just we'll just play it as is. We'll do this video, and then we'll do the... We'll just use 4-3-2-1. It doesn't really matter. Koulibaly, five-star weak foot. Let's go over here. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, it's just for them to attack against me, so... Nice challenge, good stuff. You know what? The way that he constantly adapted there was really good, right? So there, I just want to, I want to test out like just me switching in and out with him, essentially, right? He was doing a pretty good job. We we just move, guys. You know what I'm saying? We just move, honestly. Yeah, transition speed is actually pretty solid there. Didn't mind that whatsoever. We're good. Nice. I was waiting. I'm like, brother, I gave you the space. Go. Oh, I might be able to get this. Yeah. 
I figured I could because he's tall with good jumping stats. So I just all, all I do there is I just hold it, man, so that he jumps as high as possible. Oh yeah, Cooley Daddy. Cooley Daddy. The home side very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I've really liked the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from them. No, he did well there. I was all AI, so that was very solid. Superbly read and executed. That was good. He actually uh, made him offside there. He kind of like did the push forward there. That was actually really smart. Him and Vron together, they're gonna they're gonna be pretty smart together. Yeah, well done. Oh, that goes right through him, eh? Salah will know that the pass needed to be slightly better. Kane, body on the Let's go, Cooley. That was actually a good uh, defensive block. See what I'm saying about the weak foot? He literally goes in with the weak foot there. Oh, defensive AI. <laughs> Such a strange running animation. You see that? That was an interesting one. I wanted to push him out of position like crazy to see what his track back is like. Obviously, it's pretty decent. Um, it's not on the level of like a obvious reasons Varane, right? Like Varane is just built different, but still pretty good. And that's Yaya Torre being a beast. What a surprise. Oh, good it. Oh my goodness, that deflection. Just kick it. Yes, there we go. There we go. Nice and composed, mate. Nice and composure, mate. Composure. Oh my goodness. No! Dude, the emphasis is when they get the ball. Too funny. Do you see how important it is to have the weak foot, though? Just for, like, just for situations like that? Like, they just do it more consistently. It's not to say that they would never do it on the other, uh, on, like, the other stuff. Like, if they have a two-star or three-star. But the consistency of doing those challenges when you have the weak foot, it's way, 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 way more noticeable. I want to try an overcommitment there. But you know, Veron's gonna cover that area. For the old boys to be in. A fine reading of the situation. Beauty. I'll trigger. Cover the back. Back in. Oh, Vanya, of course. <laughs> of course, bro. A CDM in the game. That's a good pass. I'll trigger. Earn. Oh. The only reason why he doesn't have an animation is tripping over his own teammate. Nice. Manual challenge actually works there. He got back quick enough there. In the corner kick. Manual goal keeping a little bit there, huh? I'll take it.
Varan just covering, bro. So I just try to hold the uh, area with like the L trigger shield with Coolie Daddy. Okay, so you can see that his manual running animation is not necessarily like the fastest. It's it's good, but it's not the fastest. You can see there's like a thing to it, right? It's an interesting running animation. But we're talking about like the long distance chase after is right. Block. I did manual goalkeeping just just to like you know, and he still missed. Does it? it I think when someone uses manual goalkeeping, they all they go the opposite direction. It sh like you should your percentage of strike should be at a hundred. It's kind of crazy that he misses that. Le grand switch to Rodrigo. Get Rodrigo, guys. Car is amazing. Okay, so you see? That's a really good example right there of the pace part of the card, right? That's a pretty good example. I know Kane's like really crazy on that lengthy as well, but that's just a really good example because you can see the animation choice being a little bit um, different, right? Pass it back. There you go. Always remember, guys, that when I do the overcommitment with defenders, that's just for the sake of the reviews. But a lot of times you don't overcommit like crazy, but you just have to be mindful of the R trigger merchants, right? So you have to do stuff like this, kind of block out that area a little bit earlier, right? Just in case, because he'll have that initial movement, right? Because his transition speed's actually pretty decent. It's just the running animation afterwards you gotta be mindful of. You just got to do a little bit earlier there. There you go. A little bit earlier. See? That's what I'm saying. Like when you're defending normally, like you're doing this stuff early, it doesn't really matter. He even does an animation there. I just get unlucky with the uh, choice there. A little bit earlier, right? Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Cooley Bali card. So guys, in regards to how this card performs in game, uh, the Shadow Chemistry style obviously going to be the choice uh, that you do have to go with when it comes to this card. Uh, now, obviously, comparison to like the top top tier meta players in regards to center backs, like obviously. Um, if we're going to talk about like super high tier S cards, it would be like Varon or Milinkovic Savage. Like honestly, even Milinkovic Savage being rotated into the center back position is still going to be like an S tier card. That card's ridiculous, right? Um, Cooley Bali still holds up really well nowadays. And what's great about this card is obviously the Saudi League links because this is going to be a very interesting card to take a look at for the long term, okay, guys? Because there is a bunch of players that have recently been moving over there, right? So let's say, for instance, they drop an SBC Mars card, right? If they were to de decide to do that because they already dropped the Shapeshifters, that would be pretty cool. Uh, there's obviously like some different cards too, like some meta ones would be like maybe Fofana, Right? If they do if they do like a Seco Fofana card, that would be like a really big one as well. He plays for Al Nasser, so a premium link to that. Uh, because Fofana is obviously really good. The Saudi League, I don't think they have like too many crazy players. Let's see, they have Ronaldo. Alawaron is a, like Alawaron's good, but he's outdated nowadays for sure. He's still an R trigger merchant for the most part. Yeah, that's the thing about Koulibaly, man. It just depends on who they end up bringing. Oh, you know who's a big one I'm thinking of right now? St. Max, actually. 
Alance Maximin. Like, if they do a card for this, since he recently moved... I think he went to Al Hilal too, I'm pretty sure. Or did he? Huh. I don't remember, actually. Al Hilal? Was it Al Hilal? I think so. Maybe. Um... But yeah, no, Koulibaly, he's still good, man. You know, you know what's the thing you notice a lot with defending? So, the only thing that doesn't make him S tier is running animation with the pace split, right? Because, yes, 94-99, if we take a look at um, Varon, excuse me, we take a look at Varon, sure, you know, if we go to his pace and we go to the Shadow Chemistry style, 96-99, I know it's a plus two, but honestly, even if Varon was at a 94, it would still be really good. It's not even necessarily about... The straightforward one. It's it's not always about that because some people we, we, what they do is they'll compare one runner with one runner running straight. It's not about that. It's about like the aggression, the unique body type, just making them do certain animations in certain situations. Right? Varon is obviously expensive for a reason. Honestly, even if you were to have this version of his card, you would still be fine. Uh, but the upgraded version, obviously, probably the best center back in the game, uh, hold up holds up really well after this entire year. But guys, this for an SBC for 155K, it, it's a good price, man, for what he offers in game. Like it, it really is. For a premium card that has good defensive animations, the only thing you have to be mindful of is over commitment on defense. Like you can't go wrong with him. He's not on the level of Varan or Malinkovic Savage, okay? He's, he's not, uh, but he's like just below that. Like if I were to put him in the tier list category, he would be at like the high tier A star tier. Like if I would do like S and then A star, he'd be the, at the the high A star, and then S would be like Malinkovic, Savage, and um, and uh, and Varon, like players like that, you know. But yeah, it's a good SPC, man. 155k premium links. Uh, you never know what they release in the future too at the Saudi League. You know, it, it really depends on what EA ends up doing with that too. So Senegal, Senegal doesn't have anything, I don't think. Oh, Mane Link. That would actually be a really good one. Mane, Mane's pretty cool. 105k. These cards are so much cheaper nowadays, eh? The Mane Link is not bad, actually. Totally forgot about that one, yeah. That wouldn't be too bad. But yeah, good price for the SBC. I, I, like, I, I don't mind that. I saw the initial dislikes. So I was like, I don't know about that one. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. I might do the 4 and 2 and 2 video today or tomorrow. We'll see what the, what the vibes are, okay? Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.